Hi, this is Janaki Ram and this is a tutorial of the steps involved in setting up, configuring and using the Windows Azure command line tools on Ubuntu. Windows Azure command line tools for Linux are built using Node.js. So let's start with the installation of Node.js. So the very first command that we're going to run is to get the latest version of Node.js. So let's type this command which is add apt repository followed by PPA Chris Lee. So this is the location where the latest version of Node.js is maintained for Ubuntu. Once this is done, we'll update the package repository by typing apt get update. So this is going to quickly refresh. Okay, now that the update is done, let me go ahead and type apt get install node.js followed by npm, the node package manager. So this is going to download about 22.5 MB of packages and it's going to quickly set it up on our machine. All right, once this is done, let's check the version of node by typing node followed by version. So that's the latest version of node and it's an indication that the installation went through. Okay, so with Node being installed, let's go ahead and get the Azure Node package on our machine. So I'm going to type npm install Azure hyphen G. This command will get us the Azure Node package onto our machine. The Azure NPM is installed. The next step is to download the published settings file, which is going to contain our credentials. So we can type Azure account download. So this is going to open the browser window in a while and takes us to the Windows Azure download of the profile. So here we are at the Windows Azure sign in page. On this page, we can directly download the published settings file. So we're going to download this onto the downloads folder of our home directory. So once this is done, let's close this and we'll be back. Let me make sure that the downloads directory has the published settings file. So there we go, Janikiram Associates followed by the date credentials dot published settings. So once we have this, we need to point the command line tools to the published settings file. So I'm going to type Azure account import followed by the downloads and the published settings file. So this is going to enumerate all the accounts and bring them onto the command line tools. So once this step is done, we can check the installation or rather the configuration by typing Azure config list. So this is going to show us the available endpoints and the subscription settings. In my case, I only have one, but in, in, in some instances, you may have more than one account associated with your subscription. In, in that case, the very first account uh, mentioned in this is going to be the default. So in this step, we pointed the Azure tools installed on Ubuntu to our Azure subscription. So now that this is done, let's go ahead and execute some of the commands. Uh, the very first thing that I want to check is by typing Azure 
account followed by storage list so this is going to list all the storage accounts that are associated with my account okay let me try out a couple of more commands so this time I'm going to try Azure VM followed by location list so this is going to fetch all the locations where the Windows Azure VM feature is available uh, in preview so once this becomes generally available all the locations will start supporting it but for now it's selectively available in certain locations so this command is going to show us all the locations of Windows Azure data centers or regions supporting the VM capability similarly we can type Azure site followed by location list so this is going to bring us the locations where the websites preview feature is available so that's available only at East Asia and East US locations so that's the end of the demo where we have installed Node.js configured it and then installed the Azure NPM connected that to our subscription and tried out a few commands hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching this is Janakiram signing off